A year ago, I had the phenomenal idea of joining a volleyball tournament and wearing anime uniforms. Basketball, sport for the Giants. I am 5'10 and also have never played basketball before. And so, I practiced. I practiced nearly every day between September and October of last semester, and I realized I still wasn't that good. And so then I joined an intramural team. The only issue is that a lot of people in my school know me and know my antics, and so I needed to go undercover. And that's where I came into the picture. After playing basketball for an entire semester, I got good enough to be ready for a team. I wanted to win a basketball league wearing anime uniforms, but there was an issue. I had no team. None of my friends are particularly great at basketball, except for Enzo and James, and they were on teams that were already full. I guess my friend Hanbon is also pretty great at basketball, but she's on the Filipino team. The Filipino team. The Filipino club. Filipino. Phil it. I joined the Filipino team. The Philippines is an island in Southeast Asia known for its general beauty, uh, amazing food, cool looking flag, uh, and also my friend Hanbon. And this was perfect because I, a white guy, gets the opportunity to coach an all Filipino team while we're all wearing anime uniforms. That was the first time that sentence was ever said. And speaking of anime uniforms, the main premise of this video, Kuroko no Basketball. It's an anime and if you haven't seen it, it's okay. I can sum it up for you right now in like three seconds. Oh no, we're tied and there's only one second left and we're going against the most difficult team, but for real this time, I swear. Time to make the shot. Ugh. But before I actually joined the team, I wanted to make sure they were the real deal. So I scouted them. I look exactly like her. We all To say the least, they were tickling my pickle. And after seeing their mojo, their skills, and their love for each other, I knew they were perfect. I thought, what would be funny uh, for us to do in this league? And... Hear me out, yo. Yeah, I got us uniforms. We'll have them for next game. Fire, uh, bro. Yes, sir. That means love in Tagalog. Sweet. So this is like half anime, half learning about Filipino culture. And after that, I bought them their uniforms. So without further ado, let me introduce the team. And now boys and Hanbon. Yeah. Step up to this railing and loudly announce your name and a goal loud enough for the entire student body that obviously is not here to hear. Jundi Laquata, I want a girlfriend, preferably a mommy. Oh. Yeah! yeah! Jonas Vamonti, fourth year. I want to be the best man! Also, the team already called themselves the C so if they say C, that's why. Ian Sanchez, I just want to not lose. Ruan Jamalin, I want to pass this year! Hannah Bondalo, are you safe? What's my height? Five, three, fourth year, I want to dunk! Brian Poon, my goal is to win two chips this semester. Dustin Hugh! I just want to have some fun. Aww. Elijah Pablo, class of 2022. I want to score more than two points. Brandon Fernando, year two. I want to be a month. Yeah! yeah! I also let my cameraman Hamza say something because I felt bad. Uh, Hamza Azim, I want a girlfriend. <laughs> Anthony Poe, senior. 26, I want to win! Yeah! yeah! And our first game in uniforms. Seven on three, seven on me, one, two, three, seven! Yes! You got it, Mark! You got it, put it out!
it went great. I started to notice something though. There was a freshman named Ryan who was actually being a coach while I basically had my finger shoved up my butthole. Sure enough, I found out this freshman Ryan was an actual basketball coach, like for a job. I needed him to teach me his ways. What do you know about basketball? Nothing. Nothing? Sergi, get the rebound! There you go. Yeah. yeah. You're the father of the team. Hmm. Louder, it gotta be louder. Oh, there you, go. you know country music? Yeah. Country roads. Take me home. Yeah, you bet <laughs> right I will. <laughs> you gotta know that Ian's quick or Hannah can shoot, but you also gotta know Hannah's not that confident in shooting, right? So you right. gotta keep telling her you gotta be confident. Mm. I took his advice to heart. Wait, right, first, Hanbon, you have to believe in yourself. You can shoot. Stop! I know! I just get a little bit, like, shy. Ryan is a genius. No, tell me more. No, you can, like, totally make every three-point shot ever. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, coach. And then it was time for our final game of the regular season. This game would decide our fate moving into the playoffs. Get ready for the board! This team was really good. They never missed a layup. And, and we did a lot. We tried our best, but as the buzzer rung, we were down and we lost. Again, 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 again. We good. Hey, we all sweaty, we're all tired. Jay who worked, proud of him. That's not the last taste of semen they'll be getting. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Dribbling on three, semen on six. One, two, three, dribbling! Four, five, six, semen! semen. We lost. But it's a good loss because that's the team we want to face. Like, we want to face the harder competition because we've been blowing other teams out by like, what, 20, 30? Yeah. That loss really hurt but we barely managed to scrape by and make it to the playoffs. Our fundamentals just weren't as good as other teams, and also Filipinos are just on average shorter than a person who isn't Filipino, except for Jehu, who is like six foot six, but besides that, we needed practice. And so as a team, we rented out a gym and did just that. But what I didn't tell them was that I had something prepared. After running through some regular drills and practice, I had invited two friends. In Kurokono Basket, there are five players that are known as the Generation of Miracles. Basically, there's five star basketball players that Kuroko, Hanbon, used to play with that have immense basketball abilities. Saren faces these five students from the Generation of Miracles throughout the show, and that's where these two goobers come into play. Okay, so you guys are familiar with the Generation of Miracles, right? I went ahead and got two of them here today. Oh, oh he was behind the camera the whole time! So these are the two best basketball players I know on campus. This is Enzo Ruda, two times intramural champion. Yeah, and this is James Rapley. It was a slaughter of unparalleled magnitudes. James and Enzo 2v2'd everybody on the team back to back and barely let up a single point. When historians talk about the most brutal massacres in history, this will be mentioned. But I was optimistic. After that, we went to the diner, and James gave them feedback on their performance. Don't be afraid to make plays, because I know you guys have some playmakers on your team. Jonas, you can make some plays, bro. And finally, it was time for the first playoff game. Say it! Right. These guys were the real deal. They were also three and one, Ooh. just like that. Boom. Oh! Good ball. Oh. Good hands, though, Ian. But unlike us, however, uh, they made their threes. We kept our composure, we kept making them foul. We made our foul shots. Oh my god! He's crazy! 
And then we won. We, we cooked! Seven on three, seven on me, one, two, three, seven! seven. It was time for the semifinals. If we won here, we would make it to the grand finals. This is the game. This is all or nothing, right? Don't let them get to you. You said they talk? They talk. Talk, talk back. Come down to the block. Jay, who's going to work? I practiced with him for an hour before the game. He's not missing any layups. He's not missing any layups. All right? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, This team was nothing like the previous team. Their fundamentals were much better than ours. Not only that, but they were assholes. So I'm going to blur all of their faces um, so they don't get the satisfaction of watching this after it comes out. Not too much dribbling. Coach Ryan and I were very nervous. We're down six right now, so we just need to I mean, you were up six at some point, yeah, so that's possible. I need to because he loved us. We have made it. And just like that, we lost. The team was fighting down to the last second. And by that, I mean Jundi was arguing with the ref. Don't let this get to you, okay? We played well. These guys probably hoop for a living, all right? We're a bunch of ragtag dudes. And you know what? We love each other more than they'll love yeah. anybody in their entire life. Hey, po, 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 po. Hey, hey. Give it up for coach and give it up for yourselves, all right? Yeah. You know, One, two, three, seven, seven four, four, five, six, family. family. Oh. For a team with a coach who has never played basketball, a coach who is a freshman still finding their footing at this university, and a bunch of Filipinos, most of whom are under the average height, making it to the semifinals was actually a pretty good ending to the story. But there's one person that made this entire story possible, so I wanted to thank them. I guess, yeah, thank you for letting me Use, use the, the Filipino. Filipino club, yeah. I think I had so many great memories from the basketball stuff that I'm not gonna remember how badly we got pwned um, in the semifinals we game. We just uh, decided to forfeit. Actually, we just forfeited, yeah. We were just yeah. doing community service. Yeah, letting the other teams win. We let yeah. the other teams win. I was watching all my old videos back. We've done so, so fucking much. I was like, wow, I get to talk about 20 to like 30 different stories of just like random, random shit that we've done. Yeah. In what, like two years? It's been over two years since we started doing weird shit together. <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done a lot of weird shit together. We've done a lot of weird shit together. So thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'm very appreciative of you. Me too, man. It's a two-way street. Friendship is a two-way street. Yeah. So it's only memorable because we make it memorable for the both of us. I just wanted to say uh, thank you. And oh, I, I got you this. Oh, shit. Oh, yo, thank you so much, man. You deserve one, too. No, I don't. I don't. That's what the thing. Mean? You coached. I was just the moral support, and I thought that you needed to hear it, so. You're best improved coach. Most, <laughs> most improved coach. <laughs>